Recently, we had a customer approach us and they wanted to see this machine in action before they purchased it. They wanted to see their image that is this printed out piece of paper put on this polypropylene plate. And we're going to take you through the entire process. To start with, we had to make a cliche, which we've already shown in other videos. But let me walk you through the rest of the process and we'll show you what it takes to make a machine print their part in full production. So one of the primary beginning stages is fixturing the part. We need to fixture the part in order to print it. That way the part doesn't move around in the operation. Now we're going to use temporary fixturing here, but there's still a cost to it. And we use our need silicone molding compound to build that. I'll show that here shortly. But what we're going to also do is we're going to use this Lego plate to attach to this XY table. And this will allow us to have rotational adjustment of the part during the printing process. So it'll allow us X, Y, as well as rotational adjustment for printing. I'm going to take you through the rest of the steps here shortly. We've decided to orient the image on the cliche to print left to right. So we've oriented the image this way. We're going to use a couple new pads that we've chose for this job, which will appropriately print and pick up this image and put it on the part. We've got these pads unwrapped and ready to go. This is the first use and should only be done the first time when the pads are new. There's a slight bit of silicone oil in the top and we need to remove it before printing. In order to do so, we're gonna use a rag and some acetone. And I'm gonna show you how. So in order to start with, we've got a pad that has a slight bit of sheen to it that we can see where the oil was when the production process happens. So we wanna take a little bit of acetone and just wipe that off. Now your pad's ready to go clean it further and clean the dust off, we're going to use packing tape to get that clean. Now that we've cleaned the surface with acetone, we're going to get rid of all the dust using a little packing tape so that our pad's dust free. So we mixed our ink and now we're ready to put the cliche plate on the base plate. It's important to notice that everything is clean on the base plate and on the back of the cliche plate any type of debris between these two is going to create an undulation on the top of the print, which while the ink cup slides across, will create printing problems in your process. So it's important to make sure these two are clean as we attach them. So now that this is attached, we're going to put the ink in the ink cup and show you how to attach that so we can start the printing process. In this case, we've used a Mariprop PP, which is a Maribu product, along with the PPTPV thinner. We've mixed that in the Mariprop PP ink, and we are using this image and we've aligned it on the plate as so. So the plate is going to be here and the ink cup is going to slide back and forth over the image. Even though we're only printing about five parts, we still want to fill our ink cup with a good amount of ink to create lubrication between the ink cup ring and the cliche plate itself. Not having enough ink in your ink cup can damage the plate. We're letting the ink sit in the ink cup for a couple minutes to have all the air bubbles come to the surface to improve print quality and decrease the chance of any air bubbles on the product. Place the ink cup on the part. All you need to do is roll the base plate with the cliche onto the ink cup. Now that the ink cup's on the base plate, we want to insert this in the machine. Seat the ink cup, and now we're ready to print. So it's important on this to turn the two colors section off. We want to turn not only two colors off, but the separate cylinders so that the unit prints all at one time. In the setup menu, we can change our language, and we can also change the depth of the pickup on the cliche and on the part something that's not very common in other competitors' machinery. We're gonna use some clear packing tape and place it over the part so that we can get the alignment right using our XY table. Here we can rotate the table and we can do XY adjustments to get the part aligned perfectly with the print.
So we just pre-treated these parts with the wipe on primer. I'll link to that down below. So there you have it. You've seen the TTN Universal 200 LTC using the oval ink cup to use on these parts for production level quality and reproducing the customer's image on this part. If you're interested in production level quality and reproducing your graphic or logo on a part, feel free to contact us below. Thanks for watching.